Guys, welcome to my channel and in this video I want to guide you on, on how to create stock management information system and I'll be just guiding you on how to create two queries. So welcome once again. So suppose you have two tables like the one which I've displayed here, another one for products and all transactions. The products in my store is laptop, uh, tablet, LCD screens, projectors and smartphones and this is the transaction table we have a uh, get transaction time can be either get stock from a supplier or sell stock to customers and these are the items which I got from the supplier about 100 laptops again I sold 20 so this is the table now the first thing to do here is to create a query uh, containing the transaction details so we go to query select all transactions so i go and check transaction code transaction type the product and the amount if i run it this is the data which i shall be having so let me go back and i want um all the the one from get uh, get stock if i run this one I'll only get the details about get stock query only. So I can save this one as get stock. Save it. The other type of query should be about sell stock. Therefore, and modify it and call it sell stock query. So sell stock query and modify here sell. So for running it, I'll end up with this one here. So already I've created the queries. Now I can save them. My queries, it's very clear that I only bought laptop once. I also got Starbet once from suppliers, LCD projector and smartphones. But about selling, I sold 20 laptop for the first round, 20 laptop for the second round, and uh, LCD screens only two projectors, only one for the first round, smartphones 12, 23, projectors 20 so what next now i want to find okay for the sales stock i want to summarize this data for such that the query should sum up the number of laptops sold is 20 plus 20 that is 40 the same to smartphone 12 plus 23 is equals to yeah so i'm going to design my query again and go to totals and about the i should group them by sum then run the query again and this is what i'll get 40 laptops two lcd screens projectors 21 and that five smartphones grouped the same same thing should happen to get stock query go to totals oh, no sorry sorry for the one the totals get stock go to design view then totals and group by their sum and then run and this is all you're gonna get so let us modify all transaction for example you know we imported laptops only once added laptops so suppose i buy other laptops here uh, stock and i need a laptop and i need around 150 laptops then save it so if i refresh this one it should update we have 250 laptops so it means our queries are working then about sales stock we have already sold two lcd screens suppose i also sell more lcd screens this is sell sell stock it is lcd no lcd screens and i want to sell about 10 save it what we're going to get is if i refresh it i'll be having our Let's see the screen there too, but refreshing them will become 12. So it means my queries are perfectly good. Okay, so now I want my queries to help me to get the remaining stock, and therefore it will help me to calculate the remaining stock. And here I need the get stock query and sell stock query. These two queries are already related, and therefore I'm going to join transacted product versus transacted product here. So transacted, and ensure that you check include all records from get stock and only those from sell stock where the join fields are equal then okay the product 
um, this is get stock from suppliers sum of quantities and sum transacted here let's run it you'll find that i got only 40 uploads and i sold 40 balanced you should be having 210 so how are we going to calculate it let's uh, what i'm going to do is find the totals the totals it is built and in our build i'm going to pick um should be queries we are having and this is the query one okay i've not sold save this as well let me save it should be remain remains q and then save so go back again and build a formula so from the means i'll be able to get stock sum of transaction minus sales stock dot sum of transaction it's good okay it's one okay then let us run it and this will be the output 210 suppose here we had zero okay it's impossible to type here okay so we shall cut off for this one here later i'm gonna show you how to do it we'll go back to design view and this is the table sum of transacted amount so suppose we don't transact anything what should be displayed here so we are going to apply this form uh, function which returns zero in case uh, the specified value is zero or not so what is the value the sales stock point sales stock q dot sum transacted comma there is nothing entered should just return zero so let us see what it will return right now and it will it has returned zero but now the problem is also here remains so in remains table again we are going to try the same same thing so the total at it so that I may not type it so it will bracket the formula here uh, what should be returned here is what is in the get stock the original amount get stock that is what should be returned so we can see if we sell zero tablets the balance is just 200 tablets so let us rename our field and name it as remaining like that and what is the name of this one this is cell sold okay sold for the 250 sold uh 40 remaining 10 to 10 200 sold 0 256 so that is how you design a stock management system what remains is just creation of forms so that it may make the presentation of this data uh, more attractive easy to read among others thank you for your time if this is your first time to visit this channel Please subscribe and share your thoughts 